Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a very important aspect when any any clients who are currently using ECC6, so you might be having issues where you have performance issues. So archiving is one of the very important solution that help can help you in the garbage collection where you can archive some important data which you can use it later on for repurpose. Okay, now anyone who is going to move to S4 HANA, it's always good to archive the old data and then move the active stuff to S4 HANA. And also when you are moving in S4 HANA, you want to strategize your way of doing archiving. So we are going to check one transaction which is used for finding what is the archive object based on tables. So if you go to this transaction, BD15, it's a transaction. BD15, once you go here, uh, okay, not that's not BD15, it's sorry, DB15. It's the other way around, DB15. Uh, so here, what we have to do is here just give the transaction. So suppose I want to find anything related with EKKO. What is the archiving object? So it's MEMM underscore EKKO. So I just go here, control C, control uh, V, and then I go to the, what is the transaction for doing archiving? It's SARA, okay, uh, that's the name. Uh, of the transaction, SARA. Uh, that's quite a pretty name. And once you enter the archive administration place, and here you can put the archive objects. So in the meantime, when it comes, uh, let it come, and we'll check the other transaction. Suppose we want to find VBAP. What is the uh, archive object of VBAP? So here you can see SD underscore VBAP. So now, if you want to see VSEG or VAPSI whether we have C, we have a file document. So the SARA is still continuing. Let's check some other ones, very important stuff is probably LFA1, we'll check KNA1 also. See LFA1 has a bunch of stuff because it shares across different uh, different processes. Uh, similarly, we can see KNA1, uh, so that would be only for customers. Let me see what would be for, what is uh, financial. CSK, that's for cost center. So that's only one. So in the meantime, let's see. Oh, this is still spinning. So CSKS, and let's let's try some system table. So S triple W I head. That's for workflow. It will have a bunch of entry, and it has a bunch of entry. You see, the work item is the most important one. And in the meantime, any other transaction, any other important tables that we can search up. Uh, let me see. I have placed the uh, purchasing for let's see the most important one Mara. Why how can I forget Mara? Everyone knows Mara for the first time uh, as the most important table. And then, if you want, which one will be there more? Uh, let's see AUFK for the work order books. Okay, so this is for work order AUFK, and then you have anything mm, related with uh, I don't remember what's the uh, COSV cost. Okay, so that's related to COPA. Okay, costing that's very important. Okay, so you, you see, COSV has a bunch of other different based on the different entities of COPA. So here you can see now it has finally come, Sara. And here, if you want, I can put this. And here you can see what are the pre process and all those things. So here you can see the database tables affected. So here, this is only this, this will tell you all the. Now all the tables affected for us for this archive object. So that's it. So the transaction code is DB15, and then you can check further on SARA transaction what are the different tables associated. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SP channel and happy happy SP learning and have a good.